Welcome everyone. This is the Cosmic Awakening and today's timeless pick a card is a subscriber request, a love reading, answering the question, what is on your person's mind? What do they want to say to you? So it's basically what does your person or the person on your mind want to say to you? This is a love reading, okay? Take a deep breath. Exhale. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save the video if you want to watch it later and share the video if you feel someone would need this information. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile. See you at your pile. Welcome pile one. Let's see if this works better. Welcome pile one. If you chose this um, this beautiful oracle card, this is your reading. This is these are the messages. These are the things that your person, the person on your mind, wants to say to you. Okay, so let's see what your first message is here. And this is a general message. It doesn't mean that it has to. Um, come from your person but I do feel I can get I can derive a message from this card here from your person okay let's start okay I am transforming right now I'm going through a lot I'm metamorphosing a lot is changing deep within me my belief systems my structure my entire life is changing because I'm changing on the inside I'm changing in a big way our connection has transformed me. You have transformed me. And our relationship is about to deepen. There is love here and our love will conquer and transform everything around us. Because love conquers and transforms all things. So this is someone who is acknowledging that there is love here. And this love is very transformational. Your person is changing on a very deep level. We have vampire. So, your person is saying they recognize that there was something about your connection that was either draining you or draining them. So, if you felt that you were giving a lot in this connection and you weren't getting anything back and you felt drained, your person is recognizing that they know that they were doing this. <clears throat> because they couldn't generate the energy within themselves and so they kept relying upon you to give them more. Now, if you know that you are the person who did this, then they are saying that something needs to transform. But if they were the ones doing this, they are recognizing it, they are identifying it, and they are changing that aspect of themselves. So I see them doing some deep work within themselves and recognizing the areas where they weren't willing to work on for the sake of the relationship. And so now they are, maybe they had some time to think about this and they're really thinking about how they may have sabotaged the connection due to um, a deep-seated sense of insecurity that may have came from some form of lack from their childhood and they ended up projecting that onto the relationship. But let's see. So I see some sense of recognition here. And we have two messages. We have let go and freedom. So your person has walked away from the situation so they could go and think about this so that they could feel the freedom to choose. But if you are holding on too strongly to this connection, your person wants you to let go and don't hold on too tightly because they may be feeling drained by your energy from afar. If you feel like you are 
because this happens a lot where people chase with their energy unknowingly so and and the person on the other side can feel that so if you feel if you know because this is for those of you who know that you're doing that they're just saying um, let go and allow things to unfold naturally um, because free will is a factor here and in order for things to move the way they should in the direction that they're meant to move in you need to um, it's like a bird like you need to release the bird and if, if it comes back it was meant it wanted to come back right and and you know human beings are also free with free will and you know they need to us humans we need to um, be able to explore and to um, go off on our own and to think about things and then be able to come back and you know with a clearer mind so there could be that dynamic going on here okay where um, there was maybe a feeling that someone here was being possibly a little bit controlling over the situation even if unknowingly so or uh, not on purpose or not with that intention we have the runner so yeah this person is acknowledging that sorry i i don't i don't think you can see these yeah you can see them yeah this person is acknowledging so that I saw the chaser runner chaser thing going on here so yes so again um, if if you feel you are the chaser in this situation when I mean chaser I don't mean it in that aggressive way I just mean um, someone who was pursuing the connection while someone was not responding and was evading um, when people evade there's always a reason for that if people are not you know um, being completely like um, straightforward with information and, and explaining why they're doing things it's because they could be uh, dealing with a lot inside and they just need to get away now this person may have a fear of codependency or they felt there was some level of codependency between the two of you and they may have had a fear of intimacy or they may have listened to their ego uh, may have worried about things that aren't that important or they you know worry about what society thinks of them or there's something here where the ego, their pride, um, got in the way of, you know, and they, someone here wasn't coming from a place of love because, um, not because they don't, they're a bad person, or it's just that um, maybe they don't fully understand love because either they weren't shown love um, and they're learning about it or they still need to learn about it or you know some people never learn about it but I do see someone here is learning about it because it, someone here is transforming so someone here is acknowledging recognizing that they may have ran from this connection or evaded for for whatever reason okay we're still at the very beginning I still have a lot of cards here so for whatever reason okay so there's an acknowledgement here of a runner chaser dynamic here we have the camera um, this person is, is reminiscing about you, maybe possibly looking at pictures of you or maybe even pictures they took of you. Um, there are some memories here they're, they're thinking about and there's some memories that they're holding um, close to their heart here when it comes to you. Um, but they're gaining perspective on your, your entire connection and even on themselves. And your person is right now focusing on making healthy choices for themselves. Um, when it comes to their life in general, their love, their, their self-care and working on being happier. Yes, I said, as I said, there was a reason why this person was evading, uh, running from this connection, okay? Um, it's not, well, many cases, it could be, you know, a, a lack of interest or um, even, um, what's it called, unrequited uh, situation. It could be that. I'm not seeing that so far, okay? Um, because there is the word love there so and in in some way in some sense something about your connection has led this person to making healthier choices with how they use their energy what they think what they eat what they do how they um, make choices in their life and um, it, it kind of like triggered them into a self-love, self-care. Something you did for this person made this person 
um, get a, a glimpse into what true real love is and something about you makes this person happy and it, it, it's almost like this person realized they could be happier in their life and so now they're really having to focus inward because on some level they feel that they can't give back the same if that makes sense because they are now only now learning how to love themselves or what the true meaning of self-love and self-care is it's not just uh, you know going to the gym and you know putting pictures on instagram or whatever um or you know um it's not only a matter of um saying it it's about feeling it feeling what the meaning of true you know loving yourself truly is and being in that energy of love and high vibrational and um so so i feel this person is learning not learning this person yeah, maybe learning yes but of course it takes learning to transform but uh, this person is this person is raising their vibration they're they're working on raising their vibration if there are any self-sabotaging thoughts this person may have about you know what their assumptions toward what is possible for them or their own self-concept they are now working to transform these things but not today is like they have these days where they don't want to deal with anything and and it could be that you know whatever happened between you if there was a situation that was very negative or they are avoiding a conversation here they are hurt about something possibly um maybe they could be maybe they feel okay so if you feel this isn't you maybe they feel so take what resonates okay i feel like there are a lot of people watching these videos these days and so i get more energy coming in um you know back when the the channel started it was like 40 views or something and it's now it's completely different so just bear with me please take what resonates for your case because these are a lot of messages coming through. It could be you or it could be the person flipped. Bear with me toward the end. You're going to get your message, okay? I'm that much I'm sure of because you know who you are and you know how this person has been acting and vice versa. But, okay, so let's put it this way. If you haven't heard from this person up until now, this person is avoiding a conversation. And the reason why is they could be trying to set healthy boundaries this person could be a people pleaser and people end up draining their energy and it may seem that they are running from you or evading you right now but this person is thinking about you a lot they're thinking about you but this camera here also means that they are learning from the past the past in this connection or a previous connection where something happened and it it um it made them spiral into fear Okay, even if they weren't doing that before, let's put it that way. Um, if, if you were running from this person and this person learned some lesson from that and th or this person felt like they gave too much to the situation and now they are protecting themselves and making healthier choices about how they give themselves away. Um, and they could be hurt, not because you did something wrong, but they could just be feel hurt. Let's put it that way. Now, if you feel that this person is running from you and not com communicating with you, it's because they are transforming on a very deep level inside. Either way, I feel there is something very significant in this connection here for someone to want to transform and for this relationship to be deepening. And for lo love to conquer and transform something very deeply here. So let's keep going. But um, so someone here could be either angry or hurt, um, avoiding a conversation. Maybe they're avoiding a conversation here because I'm, I'm looking at, I'm still looking at this because they feel 
they would be giving too much of themselves away and they could end up getting hurt because maybe they have been hurt in this connection for whatever reason. And so this person, when we see let go, is maybe feeling like they need to free themselves from the drama or from the intensity or from the... Um, the if there was chaos or, you know, whatever, this person maybe felt overwhelmed. And so they just had to step back for a moment so that they could see things from a different perspective and redirect the way they have been um, doing um, this relationship. We have seduction. This person is attracted to you. This person wants to hook up with you or date you, but it says third party interference. So there could be a third party interference here, whether that's work or a person or um, family or, and it seems to either bother this person even though they feel like they, they have a lot of fun with you and they want to seduce you and they enjoy seducing you and they are very attracted to you and there is love here. This third party interference does make this person run or evade or fear that things could go far and they would get hurt because they didn't make the right choice. And so this person retracted for the sake of self-love and self-care to avoid getting hurt. Now, if this person has ran from you and put you in a third-party situation for whatever reason that you didn't know about or um, this person wants you to take your time to take care of yourself, and if you don't want to talk to them, they understand. Okay. What else? Um, okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So maybe this is something that you... So we, we have the word, word soulmate here. I just want to point that out. So... Mm, Maybe you feel this person is not your usual type, but you still feel there's a soulmate connection here. Or maybe this person didn't see you before as their usual type, and now they see you as a soulmate. And they're still navigating around this notion. But this person wants, to, wants you to keep an open mind about what's going on right now and to try and understand where they're coming from. They want you to keep an open mind about what they're going through in terms of their inner transformation. This person is, is a little bit in turmoil, I'd say. But um, the love is there and they feel like you're a soulmate. This person feels like you have a lot of fun together. This person has romantic feelings toward you. Because it's like you allow this person's inner youthful spirit of, fine, of fun to shine through their inner child you wake this this person's inner child and that is um, the that is why this person has developed romantic feelings toward you this person wants to have fun with you this person wants to and we have children this person may want to have children with you okay or this person may be someone who has children and they are now paying attention to their children but let's see what else here. Or this person knows that they need to transform so that they can have a child with you or welcome a child into their life. Okay. This person wants to have fun with you. This person wants you to keep an open mind about maybe the fact that they're not in communication with you right now. Um, your connection may be affected by a child here. So this person, if this person is a parent, they, they could be having to deal with something going on with their child right now, okay? So this person may have at some point wore, worn a uniform. It could have been in school or 
uh, in the army or this person could be highly respected in their field of work. This could be someone who has a lot of responsibilities. They could be a boss. They could be a leader of sorts, like uh, have a lot of people who depend on them, possibly. Um, yeah, this person could have been an official like um, the army, the navy, um, or they could have an official title. Um, the number 22 could be relevant to you. It means you are on the right path here. 2 plus 2 is a 4. This person wants you to know that they have seen you as their official person. And right now they're just organizing and structuring their life. This person could be dealing with financial constraints right now. Uh, or they are working to come out of a lack mindset. Okay? And to manifest more for themselves. The number 37 and the number 10 as well as the number 1 could be relevant to you. Message. This person will be messaging you. They may have even written the message already. And they are about to send you a message is what I'm seeing here. Or make a phone call possibly. The number 7 could be relevant to you. Could be seven hours from now, seven days from now, um, in, in, in some cases seven weeks from now, but I'm also seeing maybe at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. you will receive a message. Okay. Hmm. This person is going within. They are meditating a lot. Um, I'm seeing a gazebo here, so that could be significant. Spending time in nature. I'm seeing this person could be practicing yoga as well. I'm seeing the number 12 and the number 3 could be relevant here. Um, this person is currently consulting with their guides and their higher self. This person is um, asking for a sign, asking for answers. They, I'm seeing this person in a hermit mode, retreating, um, thinking a lot, meditating, this person has been very quiet. This person has not been talking to anyone. They have just been, I'm seeing someone, they, they could even be, like if someone calls them, they will maybe text back, they won't talk on the phone. This is someone who has their lips sealed. This person does not want to talk to anyone because they need all that energy to go within. They, they're making some serious decisions in their life right now. And they need all the energy they have right now. Why? And it could have a lot to do with, again, these financial constraints, which are changing. They're working to change these financial constraints right now, which is um, maybe a part of their worry, what's going on here. Maybe they didn't make healthy choices in the past and that affected their finances. And so now they're having to work on their finances. Okay, and it's like... This person is like tight-lipped and all they do is put their head down and work all day or find solutions, uh, manifest more to get themselves out of these financial constraints. Um, the number 13 and the number 4 are showing up here. Um, I Okay, so 4, 4, angel number 44, your angels are guiding the situation. This person is being divinely guided. Absolutely. This person could work with archangels or have archangels around them. Maybe you do. Um, but this, this, person, this person is working hard to get their finances or their life, uh, like dot all the I's, get all their ducks in a row. Something's going on with that because this person is maybe thinking about travel. Maybe this person could be at a distance from you, like at a different part of the world. Um, maybe they're thinking about traveling toward you or maybe they're wanting you to travel to them and they're waiting um, but they don't have the money to travel right now or uh, yeah because they have other things that they need to take care of um, maybe because they they need to support their child maybe on their own but Let's see. But this person has a deep appreciation for you. This person really appreciates you. Um, and you're always on this person's mind is what I'm seeing here. You're always on this person's mind. So if you're thinking a lot about this person, it may be because this person's thinking a lot about you or you are just mirroring each other. 
uh, this person is closing a very big chapter in their life right now. Uh, maybe, okay, 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 okay. So maybe this person was dealing with a kind of a, someone who drained their energy a lot, uh, this um, narcissistic energy, like someone who just, you know, the kind of person who would be in their presence and just take their energy even if they were silent. And they're having to um, cleanse that energy and transform so that they don't accept that kind of energy back into their life again. They just found freedom from this kind of connection here and they don't want to um, sabotage this. They know that something about their money is up to them and up to them alone and they, they need this time. So... They're trying to appreciate their, the moments that they have. They are trying to focus on the good things in their life. They are trying to see every situation as an opportunity to grow. And they really, this is someone who really wants uh, love in their life, okay? This is someone who really, really wants love in their life. The number 33 now, so we have 22, 33, 44, okay. Uh, Master number 33 and uh, the number six is showing up here. Angel number 33. You can go and check all these numbers. Um, yeah, this person has grown from a situation. This person is very focused on love. They are focused on finding the good in every situation, the lesson. And they are navigating through life by choosing the energy of love. As I said, this person is raising their vibration currently. The number 24 could be relevant as well as the number 6. 6-6 six, six coming up twice. So we have 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, four, four, six, six. I'd, I'd love to see 5-5 five, five now. Um, this person is very focused on loving everything and everyone around them. This person may have pets like a dog or a cat or an animal. I'm seeing a dragon here. Someone here could be the zodiac sign dragon. I have a black cat. This person could have a black cat. Uh, I see two dogs there. Yeah, this person and the, the dolphins and the, the unicorn. This person loves nature and animals is what I'm seeing here. And they have like a, a very, very um, soulful connection with animals. Um, this person really sees the good in you and they see you as an opportunity for love they do see you as that opportunity for true love so this person is making sure that cancer is that moon energy it's the mother energy so this person could be a mother or they could be a parent and they're very focused on the safety of a child or children or their children here. And that's what they're working on. They're working to make sure that their children are safe right now. Maybe they're taking time to play with their children because maybe they didn't have a lot of time to pay attention to their children. Um, something about July is showing up here, the beginning of July around the new moon in Cancer. Someone here could have Cancer in their chart doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing Scorpio and I'm also seeing Aquarius as well as Sagittarius. Someone here could have Gemini in their chart. Yeah, there will be communication and it seems like communication will bring a new beginning. And now I'm seeing the beginning of June here with the new moon in Gemini. So something be between June and uh, July. So the, those are two months come in a row, actually, June and July, the J months. Um, Oh. So there will be communication and there will be something important communicated to you about what's going on in this person's life and it has to do with children and needing time to focus on love and being present where they are and connecting to their higher self and the higher realms and spirit and working on their money. So this person is busy. This person is busy and I feel this person is wanting to free themselves. They want financial freedom because something may have drained their finances recently. They may have had a lot of payments and maybe they saved money, but now they're having to, you know, um, stack that pile of money up again. 
yes, they're working hard. Look at this. This person is working hard they're, and their hard work is actually paying off because now we have a new moon in Capricorn. I said the J months and I was going to say we were missing January, but now here's January. Gosh. New, new, new. This person wants, is working on a new beginning in their life right now. And their hard work is actually going to pay off in a big way. When Capricorn shows up and says your hard work is paying off, that means it's in a big, big way. And look at this, the full moon in Capricorn, which is mid-July. So something between June, next June, and uh, between next June and January, this person is closing a very tough cycle in their life. And they are going to, these financial constraints are going to be over in a big, big way. This person is actually on their way to making a lot of money. I'm seeing possibly from rags to riches or, but it's all because of their hard work. But they are closing a very, very long, tough, draining cycle in their life. And they're just trying to focus on appreciating what they have right here, right now. Trying not to focus on what they don't have. But again, we have the word love, appreciation, love again. Okay. Um, yeah, this person is juggling right now. Their finances, they're making sure. So what I'm seeing with this is this person is currently they have enough to get by, okay? Um, they currently feel like they have just, sorry, I need to do that, like they have just enough to get by, but they have enough, right? They're, there's nothing to worry about, they're good. But if they saved money, they had to like go to their savings and pay for something unexpected or extra uh, or something that their children needed, something like that. Or maybe they're saving up for something, but let's see. Um, they are now organizing themselves, like paying their taxes or um, they are investing and saving some and looking at their budget, making a budget, budget plan. Um, okay. They're also making having to make a big decision here. Again, this is decision making. But again, the Two of Pentacles all about change in their life. So they're changing. Oh, okay, four of, four of Wands. This person is wanting to save money or get organized to buy a house, is what I'm seeing here. Or to redecorate their house, or to revamp their house in some way, or to, to move, to relocate, or to have enough money to afford their own house, or um, a better rent, or a better home, okay? That's what they're working on right now. And uh, they could be using music to manifest this. Um, they're just very focused on taking care of what's around them. Because I'm also feeling another, it's, this person may have allowed their um, the control over their life to slip away at some point. And now they're having to um, like either not take responsibility, not that this person is irresponsible, I'm not getting those vibes. It's just like now they need to... Uh, uh, like accumulate new responsibilities new responsibilities yeah but this person is very busy right now I'm seeing this person communicating a lot working very hard um, I'm seeing emails I'm seeing um, but another thing this person wants to tell you okay because I've been talking about this person's life for a lot like um, a long time now and now I'm starting to get other messages and these are for you these are actually for you. This person sees you as someone they could have a lot of stability with. They could be safe with. The communication is beautiful between the two of you. If it weren't for everything that's going on in their life right now. If it weren't, if it weren't for them having to work on themselves right now. This person wants to talk to you. This person thinks about you all the time. They want to talk to you. This person may even have thought of you as the, the, the parent to their children, someone they could live with, someone they could can trust. Uh, 
but right now they're just focused on practical things. This person wants to even either travel to see you if, if you're at a distance or they want you to travel to see them. Um, they, 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 they've um, thought about living with you or spending every day with you. They feel like you would make them very happy or it would make them very happy to have you in their life. But this person is now dealing with a lot of challenges. What kind of challenges? This person, well, one of them is definitely finances. And they're working really hard here to pay off debts or to um, be able to get in a situation where they have a good credit score and be able to pay a mortgage or ask for a loan for a home or pay off their mortgage. There's something going on here where this person is dealing with very practical challenges in their life right now. But they're, they're motivated. They're overcoming these. Um, but sometimes they do feel a little bit disheartened. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, but this person is persisting through. Look at that. That tired bee. It's like this bee has been stepped on. It's been poisoned. It's been um, gone through so many battles and it just keeps persisting. That's the energy this person is going through. And another message is here is this person really likes you. This person has love for you. This person worries if you're safe. And this person wants you to know that they haven't given up on you even if they're not in communication with you. But it's almost like this person is getting ready for you or they're getting ready to communicate with you or they're getting ready to align their life with you. Maybe this person is not feeling at your level. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. But they're, they're trying their best to get up to that level this person has not given up on you and they are just persisting this person has not given up on you princess of wands someone here could have capricorn um leo sagittarius aries gemini cancer in their chart um there could be yeah again that page energy that princess this person may have a daughter uh or this person could be older than you or younger than you there could be an age gap here um, this person is focused on a new beginning but this person has a lot of passion for you I'm seeing passion now but right now this person is very tired it's like they get really it's so, okay what I'm seeing here is someone who wakes up really early takes care of everyone everything and everyone they're taking care of so much stuff just like oh okay so this person may have been ill or sick and they are now having to compensate for the workload that they couldn't attend to and they still get tired or they wake up really early and they take up care of a bunch of stuff like more than usual the, this person's workload has increased and then they get really tired and they go to bed like very early and very very tired because of all the hard work this person is working extra extra is what i'm seeing here they're trying to manifest a whole new beginning for themselves again gemini energy you or this person could have um this person is manifesting a new beginning here. Um, this is someone who has talent, skills, and experience. And they're using everything in their power. And they're believing in themselves. They are closing a very big cycle that was really tough in their life. And they're opening a cycle based on what they see for themselves. What they envision for themselves. And they're doing this from a perspective of self-love healthy choices that they feel they didn't make in the past and with this bee with all this green coming out of this bee what i'm seeing with this is this person is purging they are detoxing so much from their life they're decluttering detoxing they're purging they are releasing all the toxicity from themselves they want to move forward into a new beautiful cycle without taking anything any of this heaviness with them 
they just want to take the lessons and they want to go in this lightly they want to be able to play and have fun and it, they I feel like they don't want to drag you into their drama is what I'm seeing here this person does not want to drag you into their drama they could be dealing with people with some drama around them okay but this person is worried this person is dealing with some worries right now and they're worried about your connection actually um, and they're worried about money because that's the five of pentacles but this person is also worried that you will leave them out in the cold or they are leaving you out in the cold so if, if you feel that this person is leaving you out in the cold know that this person has you on on their mind but they feel like if they drag you into your life right now it would just be drama for you and so they're worried about your connections person is worried about your connection they're worried you won't have the patient to, patience to wait for them while they are transforming. This person could be letting go of an energy vampire and freeing themselves from an energy vampire or energy vampires in their life. And um, they're worried here about money. But this person is very attracted to you and there is love here. But there, there needs to be patience here as well. Okay. Yes, this person is definitely, could be psychic. This person could have psychic abilities. But this is someone who is either now learning they have psychic abilities or they're tapping into uh, the unknown or they're just consulting with the universe and the, about, they're trying to listen to the universe and to what it is that they're supposed to be doing with their lives. They're trying to follow their intuition here. Um, but this person is doing a lot of shadow work on themselves so that they, they want to make sure they make healthier choices and they are making those choices every day because they don't want to fall into a similar situation that they had in their past here. Um, so this person may dabble into the occult. They could be a medium, a psychic, a clairvoyant, claircognizant, what have you, and they could be developing those talents or they could be using those talents. Um, Oh, with the amethyst here, this person is definitely detoxing. Now, they could be letting go of a codependency or an addiction or a codependent relationship or situation in their life. They are cleansing. It's like this person is either going cold turkey or they're just leaving something behind to have the freedom to be able to... Um, create a new life here but that will entail uh, all this tedious work here with maybe paperwork and having to organize their finances here something with that moon yeah again that shadow work this person is diving deep and this person has feelings and deep feelings for you even though they're not a parent right now they are there okay they are there um, but this person is um, doing some nurturing. Some I'm seeing like a mother instinct here or paternal instinct here where, again, this could be a father who is taking care of children, like acting, having to do the role of the mother here as well. Or they're just making sure that their family is taken care of, um, their lineage. This could be someone, again, who either wants to have a baby with you Okay, this person could want to have a baby with you because I'm seeing the moon. I saw children, um, all this energy here with the four of wands. Yeah, so this person sees that. This person has um, thought about that with you. But they're deep in their emotions right now. They're self-soothing. I'm seeing this person as self-soothing. This person could even be mothering themselves right now because maybe they didn't get that love from their mother or... Um, their mother is not available for them or they lost their mother and or they're not getting what they need from like no one can give them what they give others and so they have to self-soothe right now um, because they're not getting the nurturing that they're giving everyone else around them but this person also wants you to know that they felt very nurtured by you. Like you, it could be someone who could take care of them in that way. This person is uh, letting go of a lot of family conditioning. 
um, something about the women in their family, their lineage, their habits. They are changing these habits and uh, they are making their own habits away from those habits, especially if they were toxic. Yes, this person is just focusing on, on flowing with life. They, this person is organizing themselves in a way so that their life can flow. So maybe they are even doing feng shui with their home or with you know their clothes or just with their energy, like uh, even taking care of finances, decluttering, uh, budgeting, you know, taxing, you know, taking care of taxes and uh, maybe they're setting up a, a new business or a new company. And this is so that their life can flow right? That's what they're doing. They're trying to harmonize themselves, their life. So they're putting in a lot of energy into organizing themselves and creating a flow in their life. Because the way things are right now, they don't feel like they could give you a good, that there would be a good flow between the two of you. Because this person is a little bit in a, this chaotic energy that they're coming out of and trying, and then they're now getting organized. It's like they don't want to just show up in your life um, the way that they are right now. They're not feeling good enough. This person could have Leo in their chart. But again, love. the you know This person wants to express their love toward you. This person feels like the energy between the two of you is very playful, very childlike, very warm, very loving. This person does feel love from you. But they're working on their self-confidence right now. This person wants to flirt with you, but they don't feel confident enough to do that right now. Um, this person could have Scorpio in your chart. Mind you, these could be your signs, this person's signs, either one of them. This person feels very attracted to you on a, on a primal level. It's almost animalistic how this person feels toward you. It's intense. It's transformative. Again, that same energy. And they are transforming because of this connection with you. There, there's a lot of lust here besides passion and uh, love. And we saw all these. And they, this person feels like there's a spiritual connection between the two of you. Okay? Um, but this person is regenerating right now. They could have dealt with compulsive, destructive, or manipulative people. And they are now having to cleanse their energy from these connections. Okay? Or this, or a specific connection. But there's something that is eternal about your connection. It's very deep and they feel it. Aquarius, yeah. This person could be working on a big project or they could have a following or a big following here of sorts. Um, this person could be a humanitarian, an innovator. Um, they're working on something innovative. They're trying to regain, reclaim their power. This person is trying to reclaim their... They're working to reclaim their power and to get back to their vision that they maybe once let go of a long time ago. They detached from, okay, and they're, you know, but look, intimacy, that's the same energy from Scorpio. They feel a deep, strong, intimate, sensual bond with you. They see you as partnership material, very deep um, understanding and connection that they feel that they have with you, okay? There could be something secret about this connection, or they're keeping their feelings under wraps toward you, or they're keeping something a secret here. They're trying to get something to grow in their life, but they see a lot of potential with you. They see the potential to being very happy together on a day-to-day -day basis, sharing a daily life. Uh, this person sees you as someone they could go several rounds sexually with, okay? Um, this person is focused on growing something in their life right now, and you know, being rewarded for overcoming the obstacles. There's something very complex going on within this person's uh, inner world right now that they're um, trying to find a missing piece to that puzzle where they can finally um, end this cycle of deep healing here. But this person is a little bit uh, irritated these days and um, they're not in a very good mood. And again, they're transforming, but this is like, uh, there's an element of mystery to this. They don't quite know where they're going here with this. They don't know if they could trust their intuition, but they follow it anyway in that sense. But this person has a lot of fa passion for you. Again, we have, we had playfulness, we have Leo, and, the, and we have passion, the fifth house. The, this is all the same energy of romance here. This person could be a performer, could have been in the entertainment in industry, or they are in some way, shape, or form. Um... This person feels love. They feel uh, like you have a good sense of humor. They feel like they want to have fun with you. 
Um, they want to see places with you, go to places with you. Um, they want to give you flowers or get flowers from you, something like that. Maybe they want to travel to Hawaii with you or spend a summer together. Maybe you met this person in the summer. Um, maybe they want to go out dancing with you, to a party with you. This is someone who is highly creative and they're working on their creative endeavors right now. They're taking a lot of action. But this person has um, a lot of, uh, they feel a lot of sexual energy between the two of you could be very, very strong here. And there could be a good uh, sensual and sexual connection between the two of you here is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very deep love affair here. And this person feels a lot of sex drive toward you. But they're tra trying to take leadership of their life. It's almost like, um, yeah, they're in this very masculine energy, whether they're a feminine or a masculine right now. And they're growing impatient here. Um, uh, if they have been slow moving, they're, they're, there's about, if, if, if no communication has been coming through, you're about to get a lot of communication from this person because you make this person happy, okay? You make this person happy, happy, very happy. And um, yeah, this person could be a father or a mother, again, moon and sun, right? And they're just very focused on their offspring on... Uh, Maybe this person wants to have kids with you as well. They're, yeah, they see it as an opportunity maybe to have a child, someone with whom they could have a beautiful synergy and, you know, you, you, you would both do a great job together raising a child. This person sees that, you know, sees you as a, a very good friend, a very deep friendship, which is the basis of everything else that's sprung out here, the passion, the love, it all started with a friendship is what I'm seeing here. So there's a deep sense of friendship here. And, and that, is a, that creates the very strong and stable um, platform for everything else. And they see this as being able to grow. Now, again, Jupiter is that energy. If you live in different places in the world, this person really wants to either travel with you or move to be with you or have you move to be with them. They want to bridge the, the, the distance between the two of you, take a leap of faith. They, they want to trust this connection. They want to pursue it. They want, they're going to take a chance on you. This person wants to take a chance on you because they see you as a blessing in their life. And they see that the two of you could be a power couple and grow a lot together and expand. And this person wants to see the world with you, basically. But, you know, they're just uh, dealing with a few things that I've mentioned already. And we have been here for an hour just on pile number one. Okay. Wow. Okay. Pile one, that was your reading. Let me know how that resonated for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save the video if you uh, feel someone would... Um, benefit from this information or needs this information. Uh, sorry, if you want to watch it and share the video if someone needs this information. Sorry, guys. I've been talking for 50 minutes on one pile. My goodness. Okay, I haven't done that in a long time. Bless you all, guys. Bye till next time. Okay, now, welcome, pile two. If you chose this beautiful oracle card, this is your pile. This is what your person, the person on your mind, wants to say to you. So you guys got, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're seeing qualities in this person that you yourself possess and you recognize that you have much the same qualities but also... Um, qualities you admire and the qualities you don't admire in each other so be aware of projecting so maybe you are projecting onto someone something that's going on with you or this person is telling you that you're doing that your person wants to tell you that they think you're projecting onto them or they want to tell you their higher self wants to come through and tell you that they are projecting onto you this person Samaritan here wants to help you in some way they want to lend a helping hand to you they want to appreciate you for, and recognize for the help that you offered them. Take what resonates. Okay. Uh, this is a good person, I would say. This person could be watching tarot oracle readings to get answers about you. 
Okay, maybe they are a tarot oracle reader. Possibly. Maybe you are. Um, this person could be a speaker or they could have a really good speaking uh, voice or spe speech skills, skills of oration. Okay, maybe their life purpose involves them speaking or teaching uh, seminars or workshops or just teaching courses in some way, possibly. Or maybe you do this. And uh, they want to give. They want to tell you you're doing a, a good job helping people. Maybe you both possess these qualities. Girl talk. Maybe this person has been talking to their friends. Maybe they know you've been talking to your friends. Uh, maybe this person has recently become single, or they're happily single, living in the moment, and just focusing on having fun. Uh, moving on. Moving on from what. Okay, this is, apparently this person wants to tell you that they think that you are their twin flame. They think that the two of you together complement each other very well. But there are times where you trigger this person because you act as mirrors toward each other. Exactly. You project each other. And this may trigger you at some times. And it may lead someone here to want to move on or think that it's time to move on. But then you just keep come, being pulled back together because there's a yin-yang Someone here has a very masculine energy. Someone here has a very feminine energy. This person feels like you balance each other out. They want union with you. They see you as a power couple, possibly. The butterfly, they want you to know, they want to tell you that they feel that this relationship could evolve. But they're healing their inner child right now. Or maybe they see you need to heal your inner child or you're both doing this again. There's some growth needed here, but the relationship will evolve to the next phase. This is what they believe. They want to date you. They want to plan or set a date with you. Or if you are in separation, this person has been dating other people, trying to move on, but then they keep coming back to your energy because you're soulmates, you're twin flame soulmates. There is a soul connection here. You've made a partnership, an agreement. You've made a soul contract in another lifetime or before you came to this world, this earth, this life. They have a lot of fun with you when things are good. And uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, they feel passion toward you. This person feels passion toward you. Something about you makes this person's soul sing with joy they want you to know that it's safe to love them they want you to open your heart and to give and receive the highest energy of them all because that's what this person has to offer i feel this person has a very beautiful aura like a very pure aura they want you to give this relationship a chance or they want you to know that they want to work on this partnership they want to work on this connection because they see that there, there's something very divine here this person is thinking about you a lot, a lot, a lot. The number 16 and the number 7 could be relevant to you. Yeah, this person could either um, be coming into some wealth or they are just very financially well off and stable uh, right now. Whether they're a man or a woman or a female, masculine, doesn't matter. This person is working on their money and I'm also hearing their money is not enough. They've realized their money is not enough because they have the money but they're still thinking about you. Um, maybe this person has a child or you have a child or they're coming through to tell you that they believe they have enough money to raise a child with you. They're getting ready for that or something like that. The numbers 13 and 18, 9, 4 could be relevant to you. So someone here could have a child. Maybe this person has a child or you have a child. But someone here is focused on their child, okay? And they're trying to look for ways look for ways whatever that means for you they are trying to find a way find a different way find a, a door of opportunity to what okay they're making money okay we we get it okay yeah this guy is good financially that's good for him if this is a guy if you're the guy you're good financially they see that good for you if you're the masculine or feminine even if this person is a feminine this person is doing well financially you both are i would say you both are because you're mirroring each other but someone here is trying to find a solution to something, a solution either to help you out or a solution to work on your partnership 
or a a solution to make you feel safe or a solution to go out on a date with you or to plan something. This person is in planning mode here, finding a solution, an opportunity, an open door somewhere. The numbers 24, 43 could be relevant, the number 6 and 7. We have 7 coming up twice, angel number 77. Check that out if you want to share in the comment section, go ahead. I think you're both pretty well fin- good, good financially or working on being really good. There is a sexual connection here, chemistry, um, sensual energy. Uh, this person is working on some kind of uh, creative endeavor. They see you as very creative. But this person is highly, highly attracted to you um, spiritually and physically, sexually. Okay, this person sees you as a goddess if you are the feminine energy. Or if they are the feminine energy, they're working on becoming stronger and the best version of themselves. They see you have glown up. They see your glow up. If you did something here, they're seeing you glowing up. Now the number 52 could be relevant, another 7777 now. This person could be hiding their feelings and wanting to come forward and being honest. They're realizing that honesty is essential here, so they want to speak their truth and love toward you because there is love here, but it's just being concealed and hidden. The number 38 could be relevant to you as well as the number 11. Okay. Or they want, if you've been hiding your feelings, this person wants you to speak up. This person is reevaluating what they want out of their life. And they're trying to find their way to love or back to love or back to what they love. The number three is showing up now. This person is transforming on a very deep level. And they are coming out of some dark times into better times. This person wants you to believe in the impossible. If you think something is impossible here, they're saying think again. Because there are things being worked on behind the scenes that you're not aware of, I'm hearing. So, and the answers you want are coming. There's going to be communication. Someone here could have Gemini in their chart. Something about the full moon in Gemini, which is around um, December here. Maybe you're going to get those answers before December or in December. It doesn't have to be. Whatever the answers are that you need, that you may be something you, you thought was impossible. And again, we have these blues here. It's all about communication. This will be communicated to you. The answers you need are coming about the situation. But this person is somehow testing your commitment to them or to the situation. Or they're testing their own commitment to the situation, okay? person is definitely working on their prosperity right now. They're making a plan, a solid plan, so that money never runs out, I'm hearing. Something about May, the beginning of May. So I'm seeing a time frame here between May and uh, the beginning of May. And something's happening here between the beginning of May and December. This person could be a divine masculine or you could be their divine masculine. And that is how they are seeing you. But this person is getting their, they are taking the reins of their life. They are taking charge of their life. They could be a business owner, entrepreneur, um, CEO, someone with a very, very respected in society, or they have a lot of people that, you know, go to them for advice, or they lead a group of people. They could have Aries in their chart. But they are working on building a stable, solid foundation for themselves. And they see you as someone they could have a very strong, solid foundation with. Of course, with this um, soulmate energy. There could be an age gap here. You could have Leo Sagittarius Aries in your chart. Or they could. But again, they are uh, also working on a solid, stable foundation. Maybe for a child here that they have. And they are working on resting. They're taking some space or healing something here. Okay. Yeah, this person is holding back in some way. This is someone who's very stoic, very strong. 
Maybe they have a strong physique with the strength here and the emperor. Maybe they have a strong physique, like I'm seeing a strong upper body or something like that. They could have Leo in their chart as well. But they see you, oh, the empress and the emperor. Okay, definitely a divine couple. The emperor and the empress. They see you as their twin flame, their soulmate, their end-all be-all. Someone, a power couple, someone with whom they could be very happy. They're very attracted to you. They see themselves having kids with you or expanding a family with you. Um, they see you as just divine honey. They see you as um, the mother to their children, the father to their children. Um, they, the most attractive person they've ever met on all levels, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, sexual, right? And they want to tell you that they're coming in with some action and some communication, maybe some air travel. If they're at a distance, they're going to take that plane. But they're right now they are strategizing because it seems like they have to kind of move mountains for this to happen, as happens in all twin flame connections. All twin flame connections have the typical distance, age gap, you know, cultural differences, people against it, um, religious difference possibly, um, you know, taboo, something going on here. And so they're, they're having to be very careful about how they proceed, but they're doing it anyway. Okay. But, you know, there has been a point where they recognize that they have been superficial and they've worn a mask and they want to take that mask off. At some point, they want you to tell, they want to tell you that they're taking that mask off. You're dealing with someone who's very wise. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart. Right now, this person is working on their craft, on their, you know, they're focusing on their day-to-day, -day, on the details. They're working on their health. This person could be very health-oriented. Their, their diet is really good. They take good care of their body. They're learning something new, or they have a lot of skills, or they teach skills, new skills to people, or new methods. Um, yeah, this person is very wise, very mature, very disciplined, very structured, very responsible, and um, you know they take their time. Slow and steady wins the race. They're not in a rush to get anywhere. They could even um you know take too long sometimes if someone here is an aries dealing with someone who has this slow energy okay it's someone very grounded very practical very self-controlled okay very strong very stoic um they could carry a lot of weight of uh, other people on their shoulder a lot of responsibility for other people who gravitate around them because they you know they can't fend for themselves maybe they do enable these people not to fend for themselves or they have been enabling, but this is someone who is very respected in society. They may pay a lot of attention to what people think of them, which is why they hold back many times, and uh, maybe from this connection too, because they worry a lot about what people think of them, and so they think 300 times before they do something, that kind of thing. But this person has established themselves. They have created something substantial for themselves when it comes to their money, their reputation, their career. Okay, again, okay, now we have that mother energy. This person could have cancer in their chart, Taurus, Libra. Um, but this person uh, see, either sees you as a mother figure, uh, like the, someone they could have a child with, or a father figure they could have a child with, okay? Um, um, this person feels is very receptive toward you. They have feelings for you. Uh, you could get them, uh, something you say or do could trigger them into moods, okay? You could, they could feel like, uh, you on some level how they feel about you controls their mood and I don't think they like that very much this is someone who is family oriented they could be a little bit introverted but this person is highly intuitive okay and um, empathic as well um, very they feel protective of you they have a very uh, soft spot for you like you melt this person's heart oh, this is beautiful yeah you get them in their feelings you get them in their feelings here um, yeah, this person could have Virgo somewhere strongly in their chart. Yeah, they're very dutiful. They pay attention to their duty, their health. Something about mushrooms and herbs or uh, apothecary is standing out. This person really li likes nature, walks in nature. This person could have Libra in their chart as well. You could have any of these signs as well. This person is an idealist, okay? That's why they work so hard to make sure everything's perfect. They're a perfectionist, idealist. They are cooperative, 
they like to, to you know they like a peaceful environment they could be a little bit of a people pleaser and that is a challenge for them that they're trying to overcome hence why they accumulate so many burdens that are not theirs and they're trying to now uh, find their way away from all these burdens and all these challenges all this frustration um, they feel very frustrated here with your situation right now i don't know what's going on but between you but they are feeling frustrated they are having to remove challenges for, uh, in the way uh, but you know this person has recently had an epiphany about your connection a breakthrough and um, they even were surprised about you know how they felt or what they saw this person has passionate feelings toward you um, I do believe this person has to work a little bit harder to open their heart and to feel safe to love and I would say their um, their primary uh, love language would be touch and um, exchange like sex and passion rather than emotions or romance okay but this person sees you as their destiny. They see you as a wise choice um, at some point. They have had this epiphany about you having a common destiny or a common life purpose or seeing you as their destiny. Um, Twelfth house. This person dreams about you. They want to surrender to this connection. Um, they are dealing with a lot of their subconscious mind right now. They're clearing away some, some karma. They're having a lot of dreams. They are working on forgiveness and releasing some baggage here. Um, this person worries a lot about what they look like, what people think of them, how they come across, their mark, what mark they leave in the world. Okay, and they're worried about that in this connection for some reason. They're thinking about how connecting with you would affect their the, how people see them. But communication is coming here, okay? Um, yeah, this is someone very analytical. Again, Mercury energy is that Virgo Gemini energy. This person is analytical. They um, could be in trade. They could uh, be merchants or have some e-commerce going on or, you know, have a store or uh, be teachers. I'm seeing teachers or they teach on some level, maybe courses, small courses or workshops or something like that. Um, and so there will be an exchange of communication between the two of you they want you to know that but this person is very focused on self okay how they come across again their physical body they're working on their physical body but they are transforming some part of themselves okay they are reinventing themselves right now and uh, there will be a renewal coming to your connection and communication and a this person is going to take action toward you they're going to overcome the challenges and they're going to take action toward you anyway is what i'm seeing here okay wow so um, that was your reading, pile number two. Um, yeah, this person totally sees themselves possibly getting married to you, um, having children with you. So that was your message, pile number two. Uh, let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this, this video if you want to watch it again later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. Wow, these were many cards today. Guys, it was a pleasure to read for you. Bless you all and see you next time. Bye. Okie dokie. Welcome, last but not least, pile number three. This is your reading. This is what the person on your mind wants to say to you. So if you chose this beautiful oracle card, it says... When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So immediately I heard, let go of the fear. Because if you don't let go of the fear, you're never going to be able to allow this love in. Okay? Whatever that means. So we have a poet here. Someone thinks of you as a walking poem. I just heard that, okay? They think of you as a walking poem. And they get really poetic um, around you. And um, you, you turn this person's, uh, you turn the, the poet in them inside. You turn them into a poet, even if they're not, okay? Maybe this person is literally a poet. Maybe they have literally written poetry about you. This connection is very divinely protected and guided and infused with love and accompanied by Archangel Raphael, the angel of love and healing, okay? And... Um, this person could be changing their career right now. This person could work in the legal system, uh, in the justice system. doesn't have to be. But this person is trying to be fair in the situation and balanced. 
and they want to do things the right way. This person's very honorable, is what I'm seeing here. They could be dealing with a court case currently, okay? Um, yeah, this person is working on healing their heart right now. They're healing from some kind of heartbreak, or maybe they're freeing themselves from a toxic relationship or addiction right now with someone who was overbearing, very clever, but malicious, um, you know, posing to be like really nice, and but then they saw through this. Um, they also, this person wants to warn you that there is someone who is not happy about your connection. Uh, someone who, it says the other woman, but... So you guys could be in separation or they could be separating from uh, someone who they realize recently does not have their best intentions at heart. But this person is missing you. They're thinking about you. They're even maybe even yearning for you. They're very sad about something here. And they're, they're a little bit unsure of the future with you. But there's love here and it's unconditional love, okay? But they're working on self-love right now. But they, they feel there is a oneness with you. There's passion, there's affection, and there is attraction here. They're looking at your photos. They're missing you. They're nostalgic, and they want to make new memories with you, or they are thinking about the memories that you, the two of you made. Yes, this person is your soulmate, okay? And they see you as their soulmate. They want you to know that. They see you as their true love. They see this as the romance of a lifetime. And they want a reconciliation with you, whatever happened, or they, or you shared a past life together and they want to get back to you in this life. They see you as someone you shared a past life with. Uh, yeah, if this is someone you broke up with or stopped talking to, this person wants to come back and return to your life because they see us as a true love soulmate. Okay, unconditional love. And they, they really don't like being away from you. Yeah, uh, they want to court you or they want to be courted by you. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. Or this is someone who is courting you or you're courting them. Or This person is working very hard right now at their, their job. They're just working really hard. The number four, the number 34, and the number seven could be relevant here. Maybe you met this person at work. Um, pathway. This person is trying to find new pathways for themselves. The, you know, uh, pile number two also got this and pile number one also got transformation. So you may want to watch all piles. Maybe there's messages in there for you. We also had, from a different deck, we had these this, these butterflies going to a better path out of the darkness. I see a lot of people going through this right now, so this person is transforming a lot. 34 to 35, they're trying to progress in, their, progress in their life. Maybe they want this to progress between the two of you. They want to take this to a better place, this relationship to a brighter and beautiful place. They want to get out of the separation with you, find a way to, to come back together. Because they feel this this true love. You could feel some connection to ancient Rome or ancient Egypt here I'm seeing here possibly. Because I'm seeing, you know, his attire, their attire, that kind of thing. Um, even ancient Greece or something. This person sees the two of you together as a, a, two people who could blossom very well in abundance together. And the number three is that energy of the empress. So they really are very attracted to you. They see you as someone fertile. They see you as someone creative as someone very attractive that they possibly want to have children with all piles got the children thing now this could mean fur babies this could mean um uh, blended families okay this person is thinking highly and heavily of you they could have gemini libra or aquarius in their chart the number 46 the number 10 and the number one could be relevant to you this person is if you're the masculine you're thinking a lot about this person but it doesn't really matter it just says thinking this person is thinking about you how attracted they are to you, how much they feel, they see the potential that the two of you could. But this person feels a little bit uh, tied up in their situation for some reason here. They feel stuck. They could be an overthinker as well, so they could just be tied up in their own mind. The number 23 and the number 5 could be relevant here. So, But this person wants change in the situation. But right now they're just trying to balance their life, their energy. Um, they could have Sagittarius in their chart. The number 48 could be relevant, the number 12 and the number 3. Um, but this person is trying to find peace and balance in their life, especially from their own mind, or they're um, trying to balance out any situation in their life that makes them feel tied up. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So they want you to focus right now on what is around you and where you can get love right now for some reason, and they're trying to do the same. The number 16 and the number 7 could be relevant here. 
be willing, this person is willing to express their love because they want to receive more love from you or they want to receive your love. So there will be an expression of love here. The number six could be relevant. Right now, nothing is set in stone. You're still creating the future of this connection. Things are still changing. Yeah, this person is still changing. Nothing is set in stone in this person's life right now. This person may be wanting you to take the first move or they are gaining the courage to take the move toward you. Okay. This person's emotions are running high right now. It's like um, their emotions toward you are running high and they're trying to hold their vision despite whatever difficulties and challenges they are going through right now. This person is definitely going to message you or communicate with you, okay? Um, or take action or travel toward you is what I'm seeing here as well. All piles got this messenger of air, which is the Knight of Swords. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart, but communication has come out. Gemini energy. There you go. This person is trying to create a new beginning for themselves in their life. And there is delayed gratification in the situation. It seems like this person is telling you that you both have planted some really good seeds here. And this person is really trying hard to get their, their finances in check here as well. But they're saying uh, they want you to be patient here because they have a lot of love for you. And they've seen your, your expression of love. They see you as very nurturing and very loving and someone that they have a lot of love toward. This, they could have maybe kept this a secret from you with that moon over there. You could have Gemini, Libra, uh, sorry, you could have a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart as well. Um, but this person has kept uh, their feelings a secret, even though they want to just be at your level and express the same or something like that. But this person wants a reconciliation. Six of Cups over reconciliation is a re double reconciliation or a past life connection. Very sweet feelings toward each other. This person has very sweet feelings toward you. They see you as a source of pleasure in their life. They, um, they feel very childlike around you, like they can access their inner child, like you understand their inner child. Um, yeah, this person wants to get together with you. They want to travel toward you, absolutely. I'm seeing such strong energy of travel here. I'm seeing something about July very strongly here. Um, the lovers, yeah, this person sees you as a higher level soulmate. And, but they have a difficult decision to make here or a decision maybe between, you know, you and someone else or something like that. Gemini energy very strongly here. Uh, but they see this as a higher level soulmate connection. Someone who has transformed their life in a very big way. Like after they came into contact with you, nothing was ever the same. The Hierophant, this person sees you as marriage material, someone they could marry. And oof. See, divine counterparts, king and queen of cups, king of what? Th these are divine counterparts from different decks, okay? So they see you as their equal, their match, their emotional match here. Uh, they see you as sharing one heart, one, you know, same feelings toward each other. But maybe this person hides their feelings and you show them a little bit more is what I'm seeing here. Someone here could have Aries in their chart. Uh, but this is very masculine energy. This person wants to take action toward you. They want to assert themselves when it comes to you. Uh, they want to be more active. They want to show you more. They want to sh put more action in. You know, um, maybe they want to set roots with you, start a home. Um, you know, um, they want to cook with you. They want to share a daily life with you. Possibly, you know, they want to sleep with you. They want to maybe have kids with you with, you know, this divine counterpart, the moon and the fourth house there. Yeah, they dream about a life with you, this person. They dream a lot about you. They imagine how life would be with you. Um, it feels very spiritual connection, but they feel there is a level of self-sacrifice that needs to take place here, uh, or they would be willing to self-sacrifice because they believe that what you could have together is so special and so beyond everything they've ever known that they feel that you're worth it, okay? Um, third house, there's definitely going to be communication here between you. This person definitely could have Gemini or Virgo in their chart. Um, they may want to go on a short trip with you or they want to date you and walk around with you, socialize with you, go to parties with you. Gemini, there you go. This person with the butterfly there is transforming. They will communicate with you. There will be, or there has been a lot of communication. There will be a lot more. This is leading to a stable com commitment here is what I'm seeing here, possibly marriage. There could have to be uh, long distance air travel. This person could have Sagittarius. There could be a Gemini Sagittarius axis going on within your charts. Like you could, like one of you could have Venus in 
Gemini and the other one could have like Venus and Sagittarius or Mars in Gemini and a Venus and Sagittarius something like that um, or you know your moon in Gemini moon in Sagittarius or Mercury moon Sagittarius Gemini just take whatever there could be this X meaning that opposites attract so there's a strong central draw toward each other like magnets here like one of you has something the other one needs here is what I'm seeing one of you is more risk-taking, the other one is, is shy, one is more introvert, the other one is more extrovert. You would, ha you would be excellent travel companions, as this person feels. Um, they want to be adventurous with you, they want to take a risk here. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so this person needs to ch turn some obstacles into stepping stones right now. They're, they're working on doing that. Um, they're trying to discipline themselves. They're becoming conscious of a lot of things that uh, are imbalanced within them. And they're working on that right now to gain a balance within. There's a lot about balance here. And they see the two of you as, as balancing each other out really beautifully as well. Again, that energy of travel. This person wants to see you, wants to be with you, be in your presence. They could be taking care of their passport, taking care of booking a flight. Um, or they, they want to take you traveling here, okay? Um yeah, this person is definitely on a spiritual quest right now. Um, or something about you triggered them to to deepen their spiritual path or you uh, awoke, you awakened them in some way. Maybe you both had a Kundalini awakening together where you woke each other up to your spiritual paths. Um, again, taking a risk. This person wants to take a risk here with you. This person is now taking care of their finances, making sure they everything is in place. Okay. Um, they're healing a lot of um, pain from the past. But this person has a lot of love for you, this Venus energy. You could have Libra in your chart. Yeah, Libra, seventh house. I felt Libra. Or they could. But this person sees you as their partner, their companion. They want to they see you as someone they could definitely marry with the, these divine counterparts, the lovers here. It's just seventh house, which is the connection of Gemini with Sagittarius. It's the seventh house connection. Gemini is the seventh house of Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is the seventh house of Gemini. And curiously enough, this just fell right in between the two. That's so interesting. So cute. This person could have Capricorn in their chart, or they could simply be their own boss here. Um, this person's ambitious, they're structured, they're wise, okay, they're accomplished, they're a badass, they're respected, they're down to earth, um, disciplined, maybe a little bit rigid, um, but they see you as this power couple here, uh, they see it, the two of you together could be a lot stronger and a lot better together, um, they want to combine their strengths with you, they want to join forces with you, and they want to activate this connection, by um, possibly either traveling with you or traveling to see you or, or you traveling to see them. They wanna, they wanna set roots with you and um, yes, they wanna do this the right way. They wanna do things the right way is what I'm seeing here. Uh, they see you as their ally and, but sometimes they feel overwhelmed by this connection and um, they could get, get a little bit into self-sabotage at times, but the energy here is mainly very positive here, okay? Uh, this has the potential to heal both of you, for both of you to grow. This is a test, and uh, this connection is uh, the reason, the main reason for this connection is uh, for both of your guys' personal development, besides, you know, coming into union, because I do see you're meant to be together here, but it's to soften the pain within each other, to cleanse, to help e each other release the shame, the trauma, the pain. Um, it's going to be a very healing connection between the two of you. So, pile number three, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Share the video if um, you feel someone needs this information, and save the video if you want to watch it again later. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all, and bye for now. Until next time.